Colossians 2 uh, verses 19 on your bread of life today and I'm going to read the NKJV version the Bible says and not holding fast to the head from whom all the body nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments grows with an increase that is from God allow me to use this for my title increase that is from God not the increase that is from man not the increase that is from your intellect or your abilities whatever it is because the Bible tells us that not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. You understand what I'm saying? What is of God can only come to you by grace. And it's of faith that it might be according to grace so that the promise might be sure. So it is with increase and provision and, 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 and protection. Every benefits of grace. Are you understanding? So Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And so we look to the one who builds the church, so that we build the church God's way. We build marriage God's way. We build ministry God's way, not our way. Everything has got a pattern. Ministry has got a pattern. Marriage has got a pattern. Raising children has got a pattern. And so we must understand that if we want to see increase in every aspect of our lives, we must go back to the ultimate builder, who is the Lord Jesus Christ through his own what? Spirit. Okay, so let's come back to this text. The church is a growing body which increases with the increase of God. Okay, even, in, even at your place of work, look at the bigger, uh, uh, the bigger picture. The increase in your marriage, the increase in your business, the increase in your family. It has to come from God. This increase is not by accident. Okay, it's intentional. Because success is intentional. Success is not by chance. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The good the movie into. No, it is intentional, just like every other thing in life. Ministry has got a pattern, a business has got a pattern, raising children has got a pattern. And so there's a pattern for growth in everything that we have uh, indulged ourselves into. And so it is with the church. So it is with you as a personal, I mean, as, as a believer. So, the nature of grace is to grow where there is not an accidental hindrance, but with the increase of God, <clears throat> with an increase of grace, which is from God as its author. You must understand that. As its what? Author. Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, 6 and 7, I have planted Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. You see that? So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. He gives you, he increases you with knowledge, with wisdom, with favor, with understanding, with people. So that you grow in favor with God and grow in favor with people. That's how God, that's how God works. So imagine that your workplace he wants to increase you with favor, with God and with men your children and your husband and your wife and in the nation and your neighborhood this is the same principle but we must understand that kind of increase of wisdom increase of knowledge increase of favor comes from god himself so it is important we note that the increase that is from god is in multiplying that which is sown which is the word because the principle seed is this that the seed is the word of god so god is looking for where his seed, where his word has been planted, so that he can supply and multiply more and you sow more. Okay, so you have to speak the word of God into your life. You have to sow the word of God in your marriage. You have to sow the word of God in your children. You have to sow the word of God at your workplace because God wants to increase and, 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 and multiply that which has been sown within your sphere of influence. Some of us don't even get to sow the word in our, uh, uh, in our marriages. We don't get to sow the word in in our businesses we only do that when uh, for our own personal gain no we have to be intentional in every aspect of our lives are you sowing the word in every aspect of your life because <clears throat> you cannot think about growth when you are not intentional about sowing into the word the bible says in first peter 2 2 as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that he may grow thereby <clears throat> okay so we see that it is the word of God. It's the authentic thing. It's the principal thing. And God is looking for where the word is. God is looking for those that are sowing into the word. So friends, every growth is a result of a spiritual groaning inside. Inside. The spirit does not move people who are not growing. 
listen i'll say it again the spirit does not move people who are not growing we must be led of the spirit they that are led of the spirit these are the true sons of god but the spirit can only move people who are growing are you really growing are you really growing in the word is your relationship vibrant is it intimate is it ever growing every single day of your life because you're supposed to move from grace to grace from favor to favor from strength to strength but from that excitement every single day your relationship with god should be growing you should be growing in wisdom in revelation in stature in favor every aspect of your life are you really growing do you desire the word of god every single day so when you want to grow listen you must intend to grow you must be intentional intend to read the word intend to set aside time to pray intend to 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 fellowship with other people intend to do all these things there has to be a you must intend this thing is not by accident you're not just going to wake up in the morning and hey banange man i'm growing in my relationship with god no you must intend hallelujah so if you're reading one chapter a day intend to take it to two chapters if you're praying for five minutes intend to go for a bit 10, 10 minutes just a little bit more just be intentional a little bit more what you've been doing a little bit more hallelujah so you must intend but also you must have a deep desire to grow not just i want to grow you must have a deep 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 desire because it's a it, it's that growth is as a result of a spiritual groaning in the inside you must desire the word of god so as you grow friends listen as you grow everything around and about you grows i can promise you that as you grow everything around and about you grows your ministry grows your business grows your family grows your marriage grows your influence grows your authority grows. everything around and about you grows so if you look at somebody whose uh, whose sphere of influence is growing it is because they are growing in their relationship with god the increase that is from god is in multiplying the seed which you have sown which is the word of god so sow into the word stay by the word and you will grow and realize that there is more that is to come and if you do that the best is yet to come